in there, throw the big guy in there. Well below zero degrees out here. I checked and it says negative two. Check with you in the morning. Wish me luck. Good morning. So. Me there. Hey there boys and girls, Haggard Wilderness out here. I just came out here for an afternoon hike. Um, it's very cold today, five degrees, but the sun's uh, starting to warm us up. And I figured while I was out here, I would shoot a quick video reviewing and talking about uh, my sleeping bag. This is the North Star Sports Sub-Zero Sleeping Bag. Uh, it has a negative 15 degree Fahrenheit survival rating, uh, a zero degree Fahrenheit comfort rating. Um, this sleeping bag is seven and a half pounds and it is quite large when it is in its stuff sack. I don't have the dimensions of uh, the bag in its uh, stuff sack, but as you can see, it's quite large. I shot two different videos of winter camping where I was using this bag. Both nights were very cold. The second trip colder than the first trip. Would have been backpack only if it wasn't for this sleeping bag. As you can see, it's too large. I cannot fit this in my absolutely empty backpacking uh, backpack. So uh, I was forced to bring a sled because of this sleeping bag. Now that is basically the only downfall that I have to talk about with this sleeping bag. So on the first trip, it was a solo trip and it got down to about seven degrees at night as far as I could tell, seven degrees was the coldest. That first trip, I slept on top of a layer of Reflectix, as well as two very cheap um, summertime sleeping pads. That trip, I stayed very warm with the sleeping bag. The sleeping bag did great. I did have also a Outdoor Vitals liner inside of it that was supposed to add a couple degrees, but I absolutely didn't need it. In fact, this sleeping bag, I was too warm at times in the night at seven degrees with this sleeping bag. The second trip uh, was a two-person backpacking trip to the same place. This trip was very cold. Uh, put the sleeping bag definitely to the test. That trip, it got down to negative two degrees, um, and that was checking early in the morning as the sun was coming up. It probably got colder than that in the night when I hadn't checked. It was very frosty. There was a lot of moisture inside the tent. That trip I was sleeping on the same Reflectix pad, but then I was sleeping on one single sleeping pad, the uh, Thermarest Neo Air X-Therm, which is a very nice cold weather sleeping pad. That night I stayed very warm as well. Obviously a little bit less warm than uh, the previous trip, but it was actually better because the previous trip I had sweated a little bit in my bag. So this bag is uh, synthetic fill um, it has the chest baffles side baffles with the uh, insulated hood it has a heavy to duty YKK zipper the outside material is ripstop nylon so the price is very good uh, I paid $71.58 for this and I looked today and the bag this same exact bag but a different color um, costs $85 and some odd cents. Now, keep in mind, I bought this in August during the warm weather as I try to buy all of my seasonal gear in the off season. So that's probably the difference with between the $15. But even at under $100, this bag is absolutely worth getting. If you're looking for a sleeping bag that you don't really care to be lightweight, but you know will get you through a very cold night, um, I recommend this bag, especially if you're going to be doing heavier camping like car camping um overland style camping in a jeep if you're staying in a non-heated area um, this bag definitely will do the trick the only downfall is the size but the effectiveness of the bag and the warmth of the bag is great 
the price of the bag is great and as far as I can tell the quality um, is great it seems very well built heavy duty zippers um, it would probably last you a very long time if you took good care of it so anyway guys I appreciate you watching please check out my winter camping videos as well as all of my other adventure videos um, I'll link the two in the description below that I use this bag on as well as the link to the Amazon page itself please like please subscribe please share and uh, catch you on the next one thanks Haggers out well, I just got my camera all tucked away and now there are two uh, bald eagles in that tree <laughs>